Okay, so let's come to your uh, favorite interpretation, right. the transactional interpretation of quantum mechanics, uh, which you talk about in your book, Understanding Our Unseen Reality, Solving Quantum Riddles. Uh, please explain what this transactional interpretation is. Well, I should first say that it was originated by John Kramer, who is out at the University of Washington. And um, it was his idea, and I've just kind of picked it up and expanded it and elaborated it. The basic idea is that measurement can be defined, and in order to define it, you have to take into account that quantum processes involve the emission, not only the emission of, say, a quantum of light, a photon, but its absorption as well. So quantum processes, uh, in particular radiation, which is where a photon is emitted and absorbed, is a, is a two-way process. We, it's not just unilateral. You know, people tend to think that uh, you, an atom can just send off a photon and there it goes. But in fact, in order to have that happen, you have to have something emitted, which in the transactional picture is called an offer wave. And that's a, an offer wave. Offer wave. And that is a quantum, what's called the quantum state that defines a quantum object. And that appears in the usual interpretation, the usual approach. But there's another uh, component that appears only in the transactional account, and that is the response of an absorber. And this is a physical process. So what happens is, for instance, if the sun is sending out those photon offer waves, every time a photon is radiated, it is because it, it, re it invoked a response from an absorber somewhere on the earth, perhaps a plant leaf, our eyes. So it, in a sense, a, a lot of other systems are participatory, and these are the absorbing systems that are kind of the missing link that are needed to explain what is a measurement. A measurement happens when an offer wave gets responded to in a physical process of absorption. So what is the world like before that measurement happens, whether it's a, a conscious observer or it's this offer wave that's absorbed. Is there a more fundamental world that exists before that happens? Well, yes, and this is what I talk about in my book. Um, if you think of an iceberg, this is a, a metaphor that I use a lot, the usual classical world of experience is like the tip of an iceberg. And so we know that you know, uh, you have a, an iceberg, you only see the tip of it, but as we know from the Titanic, for instance, it's a huge submerged portion of the iceberg that is hidden from view, but it's very real. And, and so um, my suggestion in my development of the transactional picture is to take these quantum entities, these offer waves, and the responses, which are called confirmations, those responses from the absorbers, that those are actually doing their thing, if you will, in that submerged portion of the iceberg. And it's only at the point where you have a transaction, which is the uh, interaction between the offer and the confirmation, such that they bring about a space-time event that becomes concrete, that, that people can observe, then that's the tip of the iceberg. But in other words, there's this whole um, hidden, submerged part of reality. Invisible. Yes, invisible to those of us who are expecting to see everything above the water, which I equate to the space-time realm. Available on CuriosityStream. Watch premium factual shows at CuriosityStream.com.